What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? We're coming at you with some mail and mail. Do you nerd? I do. Mail and mail. 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 Tom and Lady Lacey of Do You Nerd here at the Variety Channel, where we showcase all the things that we nerd out about because, hey, if we like it, we nerd it. We definitely do. And so many people know this, which is why we have some absolute sweethearts in the community that will occasionally work out some trades with us or just send us some fun stuff. Yeah. For example, uh, one Mr. Bandana Gamer. This guy is always loading us up with something, always something cool, too. That's a big box. We do have a big box from Bandana. So links in the description down below so you can check out all these other great content creators. Let them know Do You Nerd sent you because they're so cool. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Big bubble wrap. Oh, I popped that one too, too little. What's in there? Ooh, Atari 50, nice. <laughs> we were talking about this we, the other day. Yeah, we really were. We were just talking about this. Yes, that is awesome. I'm so excited about this. So Atari 50, of course, the anniversary celebration of 50 years of Atari. And not only does this game explore some of the past entries of Atari's gaming history, but there are uh, like revamps of old games. So like kind of new versions. Mm -hmm. And it's basically a museum piece yes. too, going through like interviews, talking to people, all kinds of cool stuff. And best of all, the what? system he got it for us on. It's on the Switch. And it's one to four players, which is totally cool. Nice and sealed. Ooh, look at that inside. No manual, but a cool like 50. And you know, my favorite thing to do. <laughs> Good day it was sealed. Bye. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. We were actually wanting to pick this up. And yes, we were looking to get this, yes. The Switch is, I think, the perfect place. It really it. is, because this is something that has multiple games on it. So if you're taking it with you on vacation or to a friend's house, mm -hmm. you can just pop this in, and they're fun games that a bunch of people can get together and play with. So thank you very much. Of course, he's such a youngster. I mean, of course he had to get rid of it. He doesn't even know that. He's like, what's yet. an Atari? Have you played Atari today? And if not, why not? What is that? Doesn't look like there's anything else in there, aside from this last thing. So no note or anything. Um, the Legend of Zelda oh my gosh. chess set. That is really awesome. And it's even got the, uh, the back piece. So like when it yeah. would have been wrapped up, telling everything that's in there. That is so Heroes cool. Versus villains. Yeah, I, I was about to say the fact that, you know, instead of just the standard white and black chess pieces, you know, which they could have themed out to just Zelda characters, they did heroes versus villains. That is beautiful. It's a nice, like, matte box with an embossed, shiny, um, like, design on there. That's just a nice, beautiful, like, window to see the pieces. I mean, that's actually really nice packaging. Yeah, the lip is even magnetic, so yeah, it kind so of seals it closed. it closed. And then the care and how these are yes, packaged in that's here. That's a hard uh, foam, too. Well, it does great for keeping these figures nice and safe and secure. And they're made to look like like old. Yes, like yeah, it's they got have a like very a patina aged on it. Look to them. This is a nice touch too. It has on the bottom of the pieces what the yeah. pieces are for, so that there's no confusion. So Ganon's the king, huh? Oh yeah, the Gerudo king, born every 100 years to the Gerudo tribe. Smooth. Well, there are instructions, so you know how to play chess. Oh, look at that board. Again, you got the matte and shiny. Really nice. That's awesome. I mean, we've kind of gone over this in detail. Should we just toss a number up right now to add this to the 1000 Zelda I collection? Guess so. All right. Well, if those numbers in the official videos don't seem to match up, it's because there was a secret one right here. And you know what? It's Legend of Zelda. So, future Tom, if you would drop that music right there. Seems like we found a secret. So there you go. There's your secret 1000 Zelda item piece. The Legend of Zelda chess set. 
Thanks to Bandana Gamer. Guess he just wanted to get involved and make sure that he contributed to this. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> this is awesome. Definitely in a fantastic thriller yes, home it is. now. I am not very good at chess, but I'm willing to give it the old college try. Oh, well, this will be great. Okay, so the next one's kind of fun. Uh, once in a while, we actually send a box and have a box sent to us from Sega Head. It's annoying, I'm gonna have to keep trying now. <coughs> he does it perfectly. It generally sounds like one. There's a swan out there, maybe that will do it. Oh no, wait, that's geese I need. We don't always do videos on these or anything because it's more personal stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, we found some stuff we think you'd like and vice versa. He often hooks us up with some treats, uh, some nice candies from across the pond. Crunch bar. Crunchy bar. Yeah, bar. he always makes sure that he puts some crunchies in there for us because we don't have that in the States. Nope. So uh, just a quick shout out. Now, the last box that he sent us had a lot of great items in there, but I did want to brag because he got me a copy <laughs> of Futurama for PS2. Reason being, this is one of those games that is stupidly, insanely expensive here in the States, not so much over in the UK. Nope. So we kind of had a laugh he was like really it's it's that pricey he tracked down a copy it's <laughs> fully complete the disc is in immaculate shape i just got to figure out how to play this on an american ps2 now but it doesn't matter because i finally have a copy of this game and i didn't have to pay the price that it's going for in the states in fact i, you know what I paid pay for this anything yeah yeah <laughs> totally free i have a copy of future I'm on ps2 free thanks to sega head so thanks man Oh, the battery ran out. The last box he sent us, we got a little something from Comic Rob, who wanted to share his love of comics with us. And if you guys have not checked out Comic Rob's channel, he is a new and upcoming YouTuber, has a lot of good content. He's very mm -hmm. fun, very engaging, really, really likes to focus on comic books, which I'm excited about. So guys, link down in the description below is his channel. Well, made sure they're safe. I mean, the man loves his comics. He knows his oh, comics. Yeah. Of course he's going to pack it nicely. Look at that. Even a note. Courtesy, your friendly comic hunter. Comic Rob. Oh, oh my gosh. Snap. Right on the top. Spider Gwen. Oh, wow. yeah. He knows me. That is great. That is awesome. A, a nice um, comic collection of Spider Gwen. So excited about this. I don't think I had this one yet. So that's awesome. Thank you. Oh, check this out. Star Wars, Boba Fett, Enemy of the Empire. Dark Horse put out some really great comics. And let's face it, uh, no matter where you stand on the sequel trilogy of Star Wars <laughs> movies, the, uh, the books and comics that kind of help flesh out the lore yes. of Star Wars were always great. So that'll be very cool. It's a great looking always cover to too. Oh, Charmed, one of my favorite TV wow. shows. He pays attention when we he talk. He does, yeah, he does. Nice, and this is the later when uh, Paige joined the family after Prue uh, left, I mean died. <laughs> Spoilers. Oh, come on, it's old enough. <laughs> and we got a Doctor Who comic. You know, over the years, we've picked up a few Doctor we Who have, comics, yeah. mm -hmm. and they're fun to collect. Yeah. But it's such a rabbit hole to go down because there are so many. I mean, you think it's bad, like when you have Spider Man comics, amazing, yeah. spectacular. Like with the Doctor Who comics, because they're still putting out comics of previous yes. doctors. So it's like. And you just oh, keep going goodness. and going, which is also kind of fun if you like this particular doctor who has, you know, regenerated into a different doctor. It's true. The books, the audiobooks, the regular books, and then the comic books give you more with that doctor, which is a lot of fun. The way down in the corner of this, this is a 2015 San Diego Comic Con International exclusive. Nice. So that's pretty neat. Nice. Oh, we got an Alice in Wonderland. Oh, you do love nice. your Grimm. I do love my Grimm's fairy tales. So that is awesome. And uh, you enjoy their clothing. I do. I really <laughs> like the way they uh, <laughs> revisit and revamp the outfits of the lovely fairy tale maidens. <laughs> okay, well, this one. I'm just gonna 
hold my hand right here, and fortunately that B-roll is just going to focus on the parts that we can focus oh, on. Oh, she's holding a controller. <laughs> this is Zombie Tramp. Oh. We've actually seen a few of these at our local comic yeah. shop. And I can't recall if we've picked any of them up or not, but this is one of those fun variant covers, clearly. Uh, one of the more mature covers, which is always <laughs> fun to see in comics. Well, good choices, Rob. Dude, of course, wow. we, we, we should know that you would not steer us wrong with our comics. That is so. true. That is true. And one last touch. Did you notice that everything is bagged and boarded? These are also the yes. nice bags that have that resealable back. That's so handy. It's mm -hmm. so much better. Actually, I think Comic Rob went over this in one of his yes, videos. Yes, he did. But it's so much better than trying to get the tape. The tape starts to come loose. Yep. It breaks. It just starts to like peel and fold and everything. Anyway, the man knows his comics. He does know so. his comics. Thank you so much, Comic Rob, for the excellent reading material and eye candy. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Once again, head over to his channel. He's got great information. If you're just wanting to start to get into comics and you don't know where to start, watch his channel. He can help you with that. And if you leave a comment asking him where you should begin, he will be amazing at helping you get that because he's one of those comic lovers that I love because he doesn't judge you for what you like to read. Yes. And there are a lot out there who do. And that kind of bugs me because it turns people off to comics. But he just wants you to be into comics. and That's all he cares about. So check him out. Thanks again for the comics. Thank you, Sega Head, for the box of yes, goodies, as you. always, and hooking me up with a copy of Futurama that I didn't have to sell a kidney for because <laughs> I kind of need those. And, of course, thank you to the one and only Bandana, Bandana Gamer. Gamer. <laughs> We've got some Atari history to revisit and some Zelda chess. She's going to learn the proper way how to play chess with you know, Zelda characters. Exactly. Well, what other way would there be? <laughs> what? Wizarding characters? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so links to all those great channels down in the description below. Leave some comments. Please like, subscribe, notification bell, and the lovely lady. Listen to her. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Go over to TeePublic because we've got some really awesome shirts over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh because it's a pretty fun group over there. And if we like it... We nerd it. And hey, check this out. For uh, tabletop, because, you know, chess, video games... Atari. Comics. Yep. We nerd it for it all. We do. We really do. Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Everybody gets one. Stop licking the dishwasher, dude. Seriously. It's like no. It's so weird. It's weird. Ow. Got my finger stuck in that one. <laughs> mm. Mm. The box is big. I can't get past it. <laughs> Something's blocking the way. So when I popped that bubble wrap, I totally ripped my nail off. <laughs>